hey, when I look at somebody else's picture, my brain goes right and then left. Like first my right side of my brain maybe makes an emotional connection to the pitch and it maybe sees a story or somehow somehow gets emotional and if that happens then the picture is worthy of my left brain attention to to try to understand what's going on like the technical aspects and why that connection was made and how that picture was actually implemented if there is no right hand side connection, emotional, storytelling connection, then this picture is not necessarily worthy of my time. I mean, we are surrounded by so many meaningless, well executed pictures, and I don't want to spend time with those. There first needs to be this emotional connection. Right hand and then left. Um, now, I came across this interesting Instagram feed the other day. It's called Soft Electronics. And for some reason, the pictures on that feed, they made an emotional connection with me. And it is weird because the only thing this feed uh, shows are pictures of old household appliances, like from the 60s, I guess, to maybe 90s. You know, hair dryers, coffee makers, blenders, you know, all kind of things that you would have seen in your own house back in the days. Somehow they spoke to me and I don't know exactly why. So my left brain got excited and started to analyze why is that. So first of all, maybe it's because I've seen all those appliances back in the days in my own home and I've used most of them. So they are familiar. There's that connection. But then I never thought about them worthy of photography. I mean, they were just things that we probably threw out already years ago because now we got modern appliances and these are old. But somehow they were elevated to be worthy of photography in this feed and the pictures are flawlessly executed. Very nice photographs and and there's this background, this kind of a white background, most of the pictures, or maybe a color that is suitable for that age and time, like gray or, you know, brown or whatever. And, and, and then that environment sort of elevates the picture, elevates those items, those everyday items to a, to a new level. This is a weird combination of stupid everyday things that I already ignored. And suddenly they appear on my feed, well executed. This is weird connection. And let me show you some of the pictures. I mean, they, I think they are worthy of taking a look at. So here we go. First, let's take a look at this hair dryer. I mean, how amazing is this? Uh, this is some kind of a scale or what is this? Look at this beige thing, beige and brown. I mean, how much more 70s can you be? What else? Um, <laughs> some kind of a blender, I don't know. Oh, look at this toaster. I mean, you see what I mean? So good looking, so interesting and so well executed. <laughs> So then that made me thinking, like, could I create something similar? Like, I don't have those kind of uh, appliances and why would I do the same? Because they've been well executed. But then this whole thing of taking some everyday items, some items that I kind of think look nice and then photographing them with uh, some kind of an atmosphere. Like, those have the clean atmosphere, but what could I do? So, of course, I mean, this is a photography channel. So I thought, let me photograph a few of my cameras. And let me take some of the underdog cameras, like not the fancy ones, but these kind of ugly, mostly Soviet cameras. And instead of creating this kind of a clean look, let me create something that is more like 40s or maybe 30s, like old-fashioned look. So then I took some packing paper, just brown paper, and created a background. And I decided to photograph using my Graflex, speed graphics. 
and and with this Graflex I have attached an old uh, Rodenstock uh, 18 centimeter bronze lens. This is kind of a soft and and a bit beaten up lens, but I like the look of it. It kind of creates this nice soft images. I've used this quite a bit uh, with portraits and so now I'm taking portraits of cameras. And then I, uh, you know, used Fomapan 400, this ugly old Fomapan 400, and I wanted to add some light to my camera portraits using this simple, simple reflector. And this is what my appliances look like. By the way, when I take pictures with this Craftless, this is an excellent device to do all kind of experiments because it has uh, a sh own shutter. There's a, there's a gigantic um, shutter in the back, so I don't need shutter in the lens. And that means that I can use all kind of weird old-fashioned bronze lenses and attach them with this camera and take pictures. I mean, this is an excellent trial and error camera. And by the way, when you when you do these things, you need a lens board where this lens is attached. But I don't buy these things. Instead, what I did was that um, some time ago we threw away this IKEA treasure. And before we threw it away, I removed the pack pack of it, like the, the hard board, like the, the fiber board in the back. And it's exactly the right thickness to make lens boards out of. So now I use, I mean, I got the, I got the, the back of that IKEA treasure uh, at our basement and I can make hundreds of lens boards out of that. It's easy to work on. I mean, you just saw a square and then you drill a hole in it and, and you can now attach all kind of lenses to it. I mean, it's pretty convenient like this. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing what you can do with an old Graflex just by using a flathead screwdriver, a power drill, and then of course some, some, some safety glasses, like safety first. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 